Hi everybody, welcome back to Best of British Blackwell. Thank you for tuning in again and thank you to uh, everybody uh, that liked and shared my last video and congratulations to all of our uh, prize winners. I hope you enjoyed the spice rubs that I sent you. Uh, today, a midweek special for you. I'm going to show you a lovely uh, old fashioned recipe for some breast of lamb. Um, this is a cut of meat which is extremely cheap. It's still quite cheap now. It was certainly cheap when my, when my nan used to buy it and cook it for us when we were kids. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that it lacks any flavour. Come over and have a look at the cut of meat that we've got and I'm going to talk you through very simply just how to cook it and cook it properly. So here we go. This is the breast of lamb and this is the part of the lamb which is basically the belly. So it's the equivalent to a uh, pork belly slice um, or a, a pork belly. Um, now it's not as fatty as a pork belly because obviously uh, a lamb isn't allowed to grow for as long as a pig is so it doesn't develop as much fat um, but it is still quite a fatty piece of meat so it does require um, a decent cooking and decent cooking time now this is a slice of uh, belly meat which has been rolled up now as you can see uh, there's a lot of fat in and around the outside of that and it's kind of all rolled together so the trick to cooking this is to cook it fairly low and fairly slow over the course of about three hours. I'm going to have this on at about 150, 150 degrees for about two and a half, three hours. Now the point of that is all of this fat in the inside and uh, around the meat is going to render out and what you're going to be left with is a lovely crispy outside and a really tender moist uh, lamb meat in the middle. Now if you like lamb and if you like say lamb cutlets uh, and the fatty bit around the outside that crisps up you're going to absolutely love this because that's what this skin goes like and you don't really need to do anything to it you certainly don't need to oil this before you put it in the tray because it's got plenty of fat on it anyway all you need to do is whack it in a decent um, roasting tray uh, making sure you've got your greaseproof paper on the bottom here and get yourself a decent crack of salt and pepper and that's it really you're going to whack it in the oven. You're not going to mess with the temperature of the oven. Uh, you're going to leave it steady at about 150. Uh, you might want to crank it up at 160 at the end just to crisp the skin off if you don't think it's going that crispy. Uh, but aside from that, in about two and a half hours time when this comes out, I'll show you exactly what it looks like and exactly how good eating it is. Okay, so we're halfway through and it's going really, really well. You can see we're developing a decent uh, crispy skin along the top here and you can see that a lot of the fat from inside the meat is now sitting inside the tray here. Um, we're not going to use that fat at all, we're just going to drain that off uh, just before we cut the meat. Um, we're about halfway through as I've said, so there's still quite a bit of fat to render off of this. Um, I might crank the oven up to about 160, 165 now uh, just to speed up the process a little bit and get a bit more, uh, a bit more crisp to that skin, but going really well. Here we go, we are about two and a half hours in. I would say that this lamb's done, I've just taken it out of the oven. Um, it's been resting for about 10 minutes now. And just take it out off of the tray. Wipe it straight onto this board. As you can see, this is only a small piece, uh, big enough for two, um, quite easily. Um, you can get these much larger if you want to, uh, but let's have a look and see how it's cooked. As you can see, cooked perfectly in the middle. You've got a lovely crispy skin on the top here. And it's really nice and moist on the inside just perfect and all that fat that we saw earlier I don't know whether you can see that let me just cut this up properly all that fat that you could see earlier is now completely dissolved and all you're left with there is some beautiful meat in the middle so there we have it we've done the um, breast of lamb with some roast potatoes and some veg nice and simple really just give it a little bit of gravy it's had a little bit of mint sauce there, which is perfect for lamb. The last thing we need to do to finish this plate off properly is a decent Yorkshire pudding on there. And cooking it slowly around the outside means it gets nice and crispy. Absolutely perfect. Cheapest cut of meat 
you can buy, certainly in terms of lamb. That piece that I bought there cost me four pounds. You get two free good meals out of that. Just take your time with it, have some patience, it's the best bit of lamb you'll taste. Cheers guys, enjoy.